We'll start by creating our map, 2048 by 2048. We'll open the tiling scene tool and drag and drop a seed image that will make tileable. And let's click generate. We can either display the tiling borders or not. And this help us seeing if the texture is uh, seamlessly tiling. And we can also increase the UV scale. If we press the control key and drag with the mouse, we can also offset the texture map. We have some problems here. For example, this brick is not looking consistent with the other bricks. And it looks that we'll need to help Pixplant understand the seed image. And this is done with the seed wizard. In the seed wizard, we have two steps. And the first step is where we need to make sure that the seed image is as straight as possible, that its features are as aligned as possible with the image edges. We can see that, for instance, by following this uh, mortar column, that it starts to deviate from the vertical uh, grid. And to, to fix this, we can either select inside the image or outside the image. Let's select outside. I'll be dragging this handle. Perhaps a bit too much. And you can see now that the mortar column is now aligned with the, the vertical uh, grid lines. We have the same problem here with this uh, mortar column. And it's now better. You can perhaps also align this row mortar row, which is now better. And let's proceed to step two. In step two, we'll need to help Pixplant understand the, the underlying pattern in the seed image. If there is no pattern, then we just click the no pattern button and finish. But we do have a pattern here. And um, perhaps it's something like this. It doesn't have to be perfect. In this brick wall, uh, it's impossible to have a perfect pattern, but it should be as aligned as possible. We can control by selecting these lines. It's a bit too much here. Perhaps. And here. Okay. It's not important the position of the pattern, but the size. If we look into the nearby cells, pattern cells, we can see, for instance, these two bricks are in the same position in all of them. So it looks like a good pattern. And we'll click Finish. Let's generate again to see. And there are no obvious problems. And it seems we have a problem here. This uh, brick is not correct. What we can do is uh, select an area around it and click Generate again. Pixplant will change what's inside the selection area and uh, also what's outside as needed up to a certain border. And it's looking better now. Help with the other uh, settings of this tool is always available. If we leave the mouse cursor over the header, the info button appears and more help is available.